Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Azrael's Tour with the Sound Canvas Blind. Uh, you might notice that I'm not in the same place that I was last time. Um, I did a little playing ahead. Um, partly because most of the stuff that I'm doing uh, is old stuff, so... I'm just going to show you the highlights. So, first thing is when we get here uh, in the docks. <clears throat> Down here, if you remember, this uh, sluice gate. Well, here's what you're supposed to do. Eventually it will escape. I don't know if that happens uh, while we're in here, but what we want to do is open this valve, and that drives it away. And then we can go up and run. Again, I don't know if you actually have to hurry, but we'll run anyway. here. Pick this up. Still haven't figured out what this is for. But, take it anyway. Operate the lever. I guess that has nothing to do with the, uh, pipe arrangement in uh, in the well room because that worked anyway must be for something else so let's see was there anything that I didn't ask before again I went through this conversation not to just a few hours ago, but uh, anyway, now that we know uh, that he is uh, Cobweb, let's see, I'll ask him uh, only the uh, pertinent questions. He is a ferocious fighter, like Talon, but unlike Talon, he is... Yeah, we know. Tobias. Tobias? He was once a great man. And so forth. Alex Court. I daren't. The thought of the place brings me bad dreams. Besides, it was sealed by Tobias. Nobody will tell us anything about uh, Alex Court. Yeah, you know all about the pre array, don't you? They were the sister order to the Templars. I really know virtually nothing about them. Liar. Now here's some here's some questions that we couldn't ask him before. Wondrous, but also dangerous. Not telling us anything, really. Sasha? She was the sister of the ghost, Neve. Though what happened to her, I cannot say. Probably eaten by beasts. Possibly, yes. Okay, yeah, no. Nothing really, uh informative that we can get from him. So I'll just say goodbye. Very well. Stand where you are. You have just been in the docks, have you not? 
Yes, I have. Then you took the chest from there and fought another of your kind. The chest belongs to me. Where have you hidden it? Well... Your enemy and my ally, Warren. I haven't got your chest now. I am sick of your lies. I will make you tell me the truth. He loves hacking people, doesn't he? Shh! Don't say anything. The walls have ears. My name's Jack. I know what you lot are down here for. You've come to the Grail, haven't you? Well, I hate this whole thing. I hate the way these people are playing games with <laughs> Another piece of awful hanging to cure. But wait, it's not quite dead yet. Shall good Sir Lurker, the oh-so-unimportant slave, help him from his predicament? Well, now that depends on the matter of the chest from the docks. Now, what did I say last time? I think it was, is that the chest Edgar was looking so hard for? Well, I'll say, what chest do you mean? <laughs> ah, how unfortunate. If you know nothing of it, then further conversation with you will be a waste of precious time. I would like to wish you an easy death, but there would be no pleasure in that for me now, would there? <laughs> what have you done to him that he should just leave you to rot up there like that? Okay, no need to uh, say anything different. I suppose not. An honor. Right. Thank you. Right. Now, I've managed to keep myself out of the way of the knights all these years by finding the one place they can go. I suggest you follow me. I'm tired. But it's been so long since I had anyone to talk to. Please, what do you want to know? Well, I think there were a couple of things that I didn't ask him before. I've never seen him or heard him on the tube over there. All I know is that he and Philip are in cahoots against Edgar. Um... I think they made a mistake there, because I was asking about Edgar. That must have been about Lurka. Yeah. So, is there, a, is there a question about Lurka in here? Nope. Huh. Okay, but uh, Tobias? Uh, what can I say? He's become just like the rest. This place drives you crazy. It warps and twists you. As far as I can tell, it takes about six years for the effects to be felt. And it's happening to me. My mind's okay so far, I think. But my body's starting to change. But I'll tell you this. I'll find a way out before I end up like them. God help me, yes I will. I hope you do. Hmm. I don't think he knows anything about Malik, but... As far as I've been able to hear through my listening tube, he's the only one who ever got out of here and lived. I've heard them talk about him wreaking havoc in the outside world. I suppose he must have taken some of that Grailstone stuff with him to keep him alive. What about Philip? Yes, he's one of the knights. I've only heard his name mentioned though, I've never heard or seen him. Well, he's very soft-spoken, so... Huh. Yeah, ask him about Baphomet and... 
I've heard Tobias on the listening tube speaking in a deep voice and proclaiming to be Baphomet. He always does it quite a way over from where he normally speaks, so I can't hear him properly. I think it's some kind of play act. Maybe to pass the time, I don't know. They're all completely crazy. Deeper realms? All I know is that there are deeper levels of the temple where they keep the grail hidden and guarded by something they only refer to as the Manticora. I've no idea what that might mean. I do. It's that really large... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that uh, large dinosaur creature. Maybe not. Doesn't look like a manticore, but... I nearly fell foul of that damn beast myself. God only knows what manner of hell it came from. Even the knights seem in terror of it. Aye, my secret is out, it seems. Yes, Tobias knows I'm here. And he made a deal with me to keep his silence and keep me in Eugene's in return for putting the chest there. He also made me put a winch handle in a barrel on the ship and I have to keep all the working parts serviceable. I must admit, he really disturbs me. He endlessly asks me questions about the outside world when he comes here and there's a strange light in his eyes when he does. Could that be a hint about uh, Tobias's ambitions? That's it, friend. I've had enough of trying to tell you. I keep myself to myself, and so I don't know a lot. I'm thinking of sleep now. I suggest you do the same. Ask me some more when I'm awake. Okay, well, uh... Onward, off screen. Okay, here's the next thing. Um, we can actually uh, have almost a proper conversation with uh, Talon. I found out. You just have to be really careful. Of course, I'm going to show you uh, the wrong how things can go wrong. You. What did you hear? Why are you spying on me? Now, last time I chose, I'm sorry, I wasn't spying, I just didn't want to disturb you. That didn't go well. Let's see what happens if we say, your reaction suggests to me you've got a lot to hide. Indeed? You are quite right, Sif, and since I have so much hidden already, I feel sure I shall soon be hiding your dismembered corpses in the belly of a Theo! seem to me to be a man with a lot of guilt. Why not share the burden by talking about it? What? Share my burden and open my soul to a soulless, self-serving thief such as you? I will first cut the heart from your body and smear your face in your own death! <laughs> what do you mean, spying? You're somewhat paranoid, aren't you? What do you mean, paranoid? Well, the fact that he hasn't uh, immediately hacked us to death uh, is a good sign. I'm sorry, the word paranoid is probably a lot newer than this place. It means you suspect me needlessly, that your mind is creating the illusion that people are spying on you. You think me as a victim of a brain fever? Well, my friend, let me remove your brain from your skull and discover whether you too are suffering! Oh. 
I have to admit, this is kind of fun. Seeing all the ways, uh, all the responses that he gives. It means, quite simply, that you are a barking lunatic. If that will go well. I mean simply that I attend, intend no offense, and I apologize for disturbing your meditation and for any misunderstanding when we met earlier. Hmm. You are surprisingly well-mannered for a thief. But why should I trust what you say? Because I could have just killed you from behind while you were praying. I heard you behind me and turned in time, I suspect, to save myself! Because you are the only one I have met down here who seems to be worthy of trust. You too seem to be trustworthy. But I am afraid I cannot allow you to live with what you have heard! Yeah, sorry man, but you really are crazy. Because I have seen Guy, he succeeded in his pursuit of Malek, but only for long enough to gain sufficient grailstone to survive. Then the dog escaped him. He sent me down here knowing full well that outside of the influence of Malek, the knights good and true would return to their straight mind. In all truth, those were his very words to me. How shall I know this to be true? Uh, do not seek to play tricks on me, thief. Why would Guy send you here? Now, I admit I didn't try this uh, first choice. He sent me to fetch the grail and take it to a safer place that he has prepared. What? There is no safer place than Atenis. Malik could not get it before. You are a silver-tongued devil. For a moment, I almost believed you. <laughs> he sent me because Malik intends to try for the grail any day now. He said to remind you of the Battle of Corinth, the two against many. Now, if you, uh, if you haven't seen the uh, documents that accompany this game, I know I talked about them before, but uh, this is uh, this is something where they uh, actually come into play. If you want to understand what's going on, um, I'll put a link to the uh, video in which I read the uh, documents. Now you don't have to listen to me talking um, if you want. I also type them up and uh, so I'll put a link to that as well. So it's up to you. I believe you, friend. We cannot let Zagreya leave the temple while Malik lives. Tell me your task. Oh Lord, then I am forgiven. Guy has forgiven me? Okay, yeah, obviously this first choice uh, is the same thing that uh, we chose uh, this last time, so. There is nothing to forgive. My task is to guard the weakest access to the Grail. Why, there is no better place than here. This part of the test gives access to the deeper level of the tennis wherein lies the cathedral. Beneath this altar, there is an access way that opens when the pianola roll is placed in the organ and the second shield is beneath the orrery. You must guard here. There is only one other way through the Guardian's own passageways. I will watch that. Is there anything else I might tell that will aid our holy cause? And now we get to ask him questions. But we have to be really careful because... Uh, <laughs> Say for instance, if you ask, what do you know of someone called Edgar? You do not know of him? You claim to know Guy, yet he has never mentioned Edgar? You have lied to me! You've never spoken to Guy! I will paint the wall with your treacherous blood! Oh. 
Anyway, <clears throat> we'll ask him the uh, questions that we can ask him. What more can you tell me of Tobias? He was once a great man, but in the end, his preoccupation with his deluded visions and his books was a cause of Malik's attempt to destroy everything holy here. And yet still, he has not learned. He still dreams. He spends all his time within the library, but he will not engage you in conversation in case it disturbs his precious test. Hmm. What can you tell me about the vision of the holy thief? Tobias foresaw the coming of the thieves into the temple. <laughs> Perhaps the strange garb when he saw in his delusion was Malik. That would be a callous fate indeed. Can you tell me about Malik's court? Forgive me, but I cannot talk of that place. It will haunt my dreams to the end of my cursed days. Please, ask something else of me. Yep. No one will say anything. Tell me all about Malik. He was a charismatic. And not one of the kind blessed by God, rather by Satan. He had an uncanny ability to expose the deepest thought in the head and twist it, turning it to a reason for betrayal and worship of him. He was not always that way. He was once a holy knight, but his origins were not European. He was perhaps a Saracen by birth. This would explain his turning to evil. Hmm. What can you tell me about the Priore? They were a sister order to the Templars. Even the Guardians knew little of them. But they turned out to be as greed-ridden and power-hungry as any other men when they made an attempt on the Grail. Apparently there is a spy amongst the Knights. What do you know about this? Yes, Cobweb he calls himself. I wondered when first I hear of him if he was spying for Malik. How many others like me have you seen down here? I have dealt with one thief. I have seen at least two others, but they evaded me. We must ward well against these thieves. It would be a cruel fate indeed if one were to deliver the Grail into the hands of Malik. What do you know of the nature of Grail Stone? It is of God. I ask no further questions than that. It tests the will of man. The knights were the most highly trained and the most pious of men, but still it has tortured and warped us all beyond endurance. Not one of us is guiltless in its light. Do you know anything about alchemical experiments that were conducted in the temple? Yes. The alchemist was summoned as part of unholy attempts to unlock the secrets of the substance that is Grailstone. All attempts were doomed to failure by the will of God. The stuff is holy. No science of man can know it. And finally, what can you tell me of the test? The knowledge may assist me in stopping any thieves getting to the Grail. Indeed. If any thief should pass the impedimenta of this room and descend beneath the altar, he will enter a drain. If you are able, follow him and push him out the other end. A fearsome beast waits below. It will consume him utterly. And we really can't ask any of these other questions. So, I really don't think we should waste any further time talking. Perhaps you're right, my friend. I will go to the other pathway Malik might choose. And there you go. Uh, so. Perhaps, my child, you are. Okay. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Do I have everything? I think so. <clears throat> so, down we go. And here we are at the cathedral. Oh. 
open the door quickly. Where is that thing? There you are. Now there are a number of ways I think that it could be lured over here, but I think the easiest is not this way, but now which way did you go? Okay, that didn't work. Collision detection is uh, not very good, which has its uh, good effects and bad effects. You there? Okay, yeah. Just gonna do it the obvious way, which is. down here. Supposedly, uh, you're supposed to be able to uh, use the organ pipes to... No, that doesn't... Someone say you're supposed to be able to use the organ pipes to trap this thing. Fall already. Now, um you're fast. I wasted time there, didn't I? Ah, come on. Get up, get up. Okay, never mind. I was able to get up there last time. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Anyway, I saw, um, what's his name back there? just uh, walk into a wall. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to see that. Anyway. Take this way up. And now that we come back in here, um, You'll notice that this creature is in a different position. Yeah. I wonder if it's actually a different room, in a sense. He is a mad dog. I've argued many times with Tobias the folly of having allowed him to live. When the followers of Malik were questioned, he was contrite, claiming fear and folly. He betrayed the hideous acts of the others. Tobias forgave him, but I do not trust him. He is insane. Wait, stranger! Who are you? No matter. Whoever you are, you may not pass until you have heard me. Yes, I am dead. My name is Vincent. I was murdered falsely for crimes I had no part in. Will you hear me out with a just ear and an open mind, stranger? So I guess Vincent was the uh, alchemist. I'll say the same thing I said last time. 
the thieves. Okay, so... Remember he said that... Well, yeah. You do? You actually believe me? Oh, thank God, thank God! But why this faith? Do you know who it was who betrayed me? Well, if you remember, uh, Talon was the one that, uh, Talon was the one that, uh, turned. Yes, it was Talon. I found a note in Guy's seat in Edgar's room begging forgiveness from him. It seems that under the influence of Malik, he cared little for anyone, but came to his senses later. So, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid it was Talon. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Oh, tell Tobias, if you see him. But now, friend, you have ended my torment, so I will tell you of another way into that shrine. I was responsible for making the master key for it. The secrets of that lock were known only to myself and Philip, who designed it. Not even Malik knew. And I went over to his faction before completing it, so Tobias thinks it was never finished. It is hidden in the great clock in the dining hall. At last, I can rest. Great clock in the dining hall? Okay, first of all, where is this dining hall? Was that the dining hall? That big room? I don't know, I suppose it could be used for that, but... I don't remember ever seeing a clock in there. It might well be something that I already found. Anyway, I'm going to stop here for this for this session. Now next time, uh, I'll just uh, continue trying to find more s new stuff. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>